The van has failed to pull over for a routine stop, and the interceptors now have a pursuit on their hands. Yes, yes, received that vehicle's entered port, and now we're going to the right hand bend. The van suddenly veers off to the right. The police car tries to block him off, but the driver narrowly squeezes past. The police motorbike joins the pursuit. Further backup is also on its way. The interceptors have to be extra vigilant to passers by when pursuing in such a built up area. To make a tactical stop, the police cars need to get in front of the van, but this guy is taking some serious risks. Again and again, he dangerously overtakes despite the threat of oncoming traffic. The bloke at the wheel clearly has no concern for his own or the public's safety. It's five minutes into the pursuit and the transit van's got an Evo, two Volvos and a Yamaha on his tail. Undeterred, the speeding driver is showing no signs of slowing down. The lead police car must overtake to initiate the T-Pack. A triple prong tactical stop. But the van's now approaching 90 miles an hour. The pursuit's now been going on for over 10 miles, and the interceptors still haven't been able to make their move. He tries desperately to shake off the pursuing police car. Back on the right side of the road, and heading towards Gainsborough in Lincolnshire, finally one of the police cars manages to get alongside him. But the van driver senses the trap and off camera causes chaos by spinning around onto the opposite carriageway. Driver, with much more to lose, is quicker on his feet, hurling himself over a fence and disappearing amongst the many caravans. The bloke at the wheel may have got away, but the police seized his van for a forensic examination. And surprisingly, they're still waiting for him to claim it back.